So I bought the eBay slash Amazon spiky intake, and for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. The install's actually fairly easy. It's really not that difficult. And it does come with a new main jet. Uh, it's not marked. There's no telling what size it is. But uh, I slapped it on, went for a ride, and, you know, everything was, everything was pretty good. Up until about 75, 100% throttle, and then it falls flat on its face. So what I did, because I have no clue what size jet that was, so I don't know where to start, is um, I took a 1 16th inch drill bit and drilled that mammoth jammer out. So the, um, the chart online I found puts me about a 158. So we're going to try that. And keep in mind, I don't know squat about carburetors, and I probably should have messed with the, uh, should have shimmed my needle a little bit, but we'll see how she goes. So we're going to try to keep this super short because it's still foggy, even though it's about 10.30 in the morning now. Like, where is the sun? Where are you? I know it's up there, probably, right? The world didn't end. I don't think it did. So after my last test drive, I got to learn all about carburetors. And based on my research, because I was having difficulty, or, you know, the bike was stuttering, it was, it was like pretty much no power at all. Between 75 to 100% throttle, that tells me main jet. Based on my research anyway, but what do I know? I mean, I never really messed with a carburetor before. And actually, before I started riding, all my experience with a carburetor was basically pull the choke before you start the lawnmower. Which actually, I don't even do that anymore because I bought an electrical and I am not afraid to admit it. That thing's sweet. It's actually quieter than my vacuum cleaner, man. I can mow at 7 in the morning. It's amazing. Because I am definitely a morning person. So we haven't really done anything over half throttle and so far she's doing good. You know what? Screw it. This is probably not the smartest thing to do since I haven't really tested this yet. But, uh, screw it. I'm just gonna do an exit to exit real quick. People wouldn't get out of the way. Please tell me you're not going. Wow, okay, dude. You're kind of ruining my jam here. There you go. Wide open. Seems like there might be a little hesitation. I think she might be running rich. But it's not falling on its face anymore. It definitely feels like it's got a little more get up and go though. But then again, I don't know. It seemed like it was running rich. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about carburetors. And my baseline starting with this bike is the factory exhaust with no baffles in it. So, I wasn't working with stock configuration from the get-go. So in a sense, I kind of don't know how it should be riding. I mean, I do to a point, but you know. We're going. Don't tell nobody. She seems to pull really good. Like, I don't remember it being this, what's the word, exciting. Of course, all motorcycles are exciting, right? That's why we ride them. If they weren't exciting, there'd be no point. May as well be in a car. I'm getting a little bit of gurgle, but she'd be all right. Right there. She's hesitating a little bit. Yeah, because that's fifth. And if I go wide open. She's hesitating. That 1 16th puts us about... Yeah, if that 1 16th drill bit puts us about a 158, I think I'll go ahead and order a 150 main jet. I don't want to buy a whole kit. I don't think I need a whole kit. Because in the lower RPM range, she does fine. Like, she pulls like crazy. Like, she's doing that. I'm 
but do that right in the back of this Corolla if I'm not careful. I can feel her stumble just a little bit. So that makes me think we're just a hair too big. So yep, we're gonna go the 150 main jet and just see what happens. And that might be enough. I hope it's enough. There's actually a custom bike shop not far from the house. I thought about paying them to do it. But then I wouldn't learn anything, you know? I kind of want to learn how to do it. I want to work on my bike. And this is my bike. I want to know everything about it. What makes her tick, what makes her go. Then I've had a couple boxes of parts starting to stack up at the house. So there's a couple other things that are going on this bike. I'm not going to tell you what they are. You're going to have to stay tuned for that. Man, where's the sun, guys? Why is it still freaking foggy at like 10.30 in the morning? Oh, it's up there. I was like, where the heck is it? I thought it was behind me for a second. But for the majority of the throttle range, she's actually running really, really good. And I'm very happy so far. It's just when we go wide open. I think she might be running rich. Jets are cheap though. So 150 main jet, then we'll monitor our spark plugs and go from there. Yeah, so as far as engine mods and quote unquote performance parts, that's pretty much it. That's all this bike is getting. I gotta get the carburetor straight and that's gonna be it for uh, engine wise. But I do got a couple other things I want to put on this little, you know, these little customization touches. And I got something else that I think is going to be really, really cool. And maybe really, really controversial. It really all depends on uh, your... I mean, I, I think it's going to be fine, though. And I hope everybody has a real good day. I'll be good. See ya!